hey y'all, how's it going? So, I have my overnight highs here, overnight lows here. We're trading the ES futures on a 2000 tick chart. Um, so, oh yeah, from like 12-ish to 1-ish, I was I had to go do something. So, I didn't take this trade. I I was out doing something. But, um, but anyway, let's get into this. So, I have my overnight highs here, my overnight lows down here. We're in this range. And... I have these traps marked here, so let's go over those. Now, notice here how we're in this range. We have these two clear legs down. We're trying to reach the overnight lows, and we can't reach it both times. So when you can't reach it both times, that sign of a bullish imbalance. There's more bulls in the market than the bears at the moment. And so we have two pushes down, and then we rush above the EMA. We get a higher low. It's not a great setup, but... You know, basically, we're getting a bullish imbalance, and then we have this big spike up. And so, if you went short here, really what that is, is... So, notice how there's two legs down here, and then that's where you know it's it's more high probable after two legs. This is just one leg. So, it's just one sharp leg after a two-legged move. And so, after a two-legged move, you can expect the reversal to be strong. And so, it's a reversal, one strong leg up. It hasn't played out. It's still in play, so it's not good to go short just because you get the one break and it's off the highs. Um, and then here, we push lower. We bounce right off the EMA with a good signal bar. Um, and so then when we push higher, we're off the overnight high again. And you get a big red bar, but the EMA just held. So the uptrend, it does have this break in a new high, but it's still basically on a big picture one leg up. Like this uptrend break new high is not the same kind of two legs as this two legs. These are two measured legs, two nearly measured legs. They're very relative in size. And so I wouldn't want to go short right when it's into that EMA there. Um, now, as for this long, I'm not a fan of the long because it is a failed second entry but we did just bounce off the highs and so it's kind of just like you can't really enter any of this stuff it's just best to avoid it and so and then here it's like you'd say someone might say uptrend break two legs to a new high but the ema just held both times so it's like there might be kind of like there's kind of a good looking setup to go long and there's kind of a good looking setup to go short at the same time that's a terrible uh area to trade at anything at and then here it's Honestly, it's like if you took all threes, you're probably going to take all, th all three of those. You're probably going to take this too, <laughs> just to throw that in there. But um, but yeah, it's just not there's no not any perfect entries right here. So we break out of the overnight highs. So when you break out, most breakouts will fail. You'll attempt to reverse down. Now we we draw this uptrend here. Price held right there. We have these two attempts lower. So you can look at it as two attempts to fade the range. On a bigger picture, I do just view it as one leg down, but it is one level at a time. And so we have these two attempts to reach the overnight highs again. We are held up by this trend line. I wouldn't want to enter on this bar right here just because it's below the EMA. You could reverse down. It was sharply going below. The EMA might hold. So I would want to wait for it to close above the EMA. So I waited for that. And, well, yeah, it did not come back didn't come back. I don't know why I was using a limit order. Well, I do know why. I was using a limit order because I wanted to get out at these highs here. I just wanted to get out before the very high or at the very high. I didn't want it to push through. But that's I should have just used a stop order. I've been kind of getting over entering into new highs, especially cuz it's not horrible resistance. Like you can expect it to break through a little bit. So I probably should have just used a stop order. Um especially with considering we didn't reach the lows either time, which in itself could make this stronger bullish. So that's something I should have considered, but, you know, just a trading mistake. Anyway, so we push higher here. We're in this uptrend. We start to correct down. We go into this downtrend here. And then here, notice how I have this big picture failed second entry. So this is a big picture trade. I went for one to two. I like one to two on this. First entry long, second entry long, failure. And if we draw this downtrend, it's barely closing back below this downtrend. Now, I did wait for this bar right here, though. This bar, this red bar triggered. I got in with a limit order because I was afraid because it did close an STT. We had an overshoot 
which made me not care as much considering the context is perfect. I mean, this is like really, really good context. Honestly, if you entered that even in the STT directly, that's fine because the context is so perfect. We had an overshoot as well, which makes it more likely. Um, if it didn't have any overshoot and it was just closing in STT, then maybe wait on a closeout, but I waited on a closeout to be sure, but honestly, this is this is such good context. This is really, really good context. So, failed second entry, first entry long, second entry long, failure, got filled right here with that limit order, plummeted down. We had room to the channel load. I mean, we it was a perfect looking entry. So, we go into this downtrend, we start to overshoot, we correct. I have this, oh, I forgot to go over this trap right here. So this, a lot of times when an uptrend gets a break or any trend gets a break, they'll immediately think to go in that direction because it's like uptrend, break, expecting a new high, a couple attempts higher. But you can't enter those just because you get a break. And so it's like this this entry bar is right off of these lows. Like if you draw it from that swing, it holds right off of it. But I mean, just because you got a break doesn't mean it's good. It's not off any support. This isn't enough of anything to consider it support. It's just an uptrend break expecting a new high. You'd want it to rush above the EMA and hold above or be off of some support. There's just no reason to go long there. So we have an overshoot of this downtrend here. We have a first entry to the EMA. We barely close above, but then we do close back below here, but it's just a first entry. Overshoots will lead to breaks, and we only gave it one leg up. It could just make a second leg up to break, which when it makes the second leg up, it ends up holding. But, yeah, you just... It's just not a perfect trade here. It's just a, a first entry right after an overshoot. Give it a couple attempts, because an overshoot leads to breaks very commonly, and, you know, price action will try twice to do almost everything, so... Um, that's just just a first entry in a bad context area. Bad setup and bad context. So anyway, we push higher here. It kind of gets congestive. We get this breakout. Most breakouts fail. It's off that key entry point. It's right into the overnight highs. It's, it's overall not the best area. The EMA is completely flat, which price is going through the EMA. It does seem to be holding a little bit more down to it. And then it just spiked higher here. Honestly, this it, this really is kind of just a sketchy area, which is why I didn't like anything in here. Um, you know, it's into this line here and the EMA, and it was bullishly, you know, spiking above right after an overshoot, and it very commonly leads to a break. So I just wasn't expecting this to hold very well. I wasn't planning on this, you know, trend line holding to the downside, especially when we could bounce to the high side here. So it's overall, it's just a two... You know, it's just a messy area. There's many structures interfering, and it's very choppy. So, anyway, we go into this uptrend here. So, we can draw it off those lows. Those highs match. Put it there. It fits. So, we go into this uptrend, and then we have this small two-legged break. It's because it does push out. It closes out. Pretty significant break. It's like it's not like a, just a tick higher. We can clearly see the two legs separated. And then we get this higher low, which closes out of this congestion. Now, I, I do like this. It does have really good context because we have this leg up here. We put it to here when it takes starts taking off. We can expect it to reach this measured move. Um, let's, let's see how we did. So we're, we can expect prices to reach this measured move. And then we have a big spike higher and then an entry to complete the measured move. So it's not into any resistance. I just, and we, we have room to these these highs here because you draw them off here and you can draw, drag the highs up um, right there. So there's room to everything here. It's a failed second entry, high or low, closing out. It looks kind of congestive because the bar is as big as the range, but I would just limit into one to one because you're basically just, your target is the same size as the range, almost it's a little bit bigger, but... It's not like entering a small trade into heavy resistance, you know, and has very good context, so that is different, but we push higher. We get this correction, first entry long, second entry long, down to the EMA. I have this marked as a trap here, even though it works, because once you come off the highs of this channel here, you just, 
that, that's really just one attempt down. Now, like kind of like when you're when you're in a range, when you come off the highs of a channel, you can expect it to reach the other side. That's just price action rules. You can expect it to reach the other side, and you would want at least two attempts before you enter without it reaching the other side. You know, it's either like it succeeds or you have two attempts and then it fails. And this is really just one attempt rushing below the EMA. You can expect the EMA to hold to the downside to get a second leg down. That's why this is so important to not buy, you know, you know, at an area like this where it's off the highs and then you rush below the EMA with basically just one leg down. I see that it's technically a second entry, but that's really just one leg down. And then it's heavily below the EMA. It's not a good buy. We push higher. We do have those couple legs up here. Uptrend break, two clear legs to a new high, and then it starts to reverse from there. I have this marked up as a, or I have this trap marked here. And so we basically reached the measured move here. It didn't quite reach it. It's very close, and we have a second attempt to reach it. So we get the, as soon as it starts to go up here, we, we can drag this measured move over and put it here and know that this is our expected measured move. And so we try once to reach it, we try a second time, we don't quite reach it, and then we start rushing below the EMA. Now, this long entry, you would not want to go long right after failing to reach the measured move twice. So, you do have two pushes off from getting from coming off these channel highs. You do have two attempts to push off. Um, but that that doesn't that's not that's just not not good enough. I mean, you right. Excuse me. You're at these highs. You just made a second attempt to reach a measured move, and then you get a first entry long. That's just not good enough. <coughs> Excuse me. So that, yeah. <coughs> Sorry, my allergies. I'm going to pause the video. <coughs> Sorry about that. I just had a nearly a coughing attack. But um, anyway, so we push lower here. As you can see, that's not a good first entry. It's just right after the second attempt failure, so you, you do not want to do that, and it closed below the EMA, barely. Not a good entry. We go into this downtrend here. First entry long, second entry long, failure, except it's not off the EMA. There's no way that you would want to go short there. We reach this trend here, and so at first, at the very beginning, this line would have been drawn more like that, which I got this line later than I wanted to, but it would have been more like that, and then after you get this break and it starts taking off, you can adjust it to that to see how it reacts later. And then here, I like this because you just get this bounce off this trend line, it holds again here, and then you get a first entry short, second entry short, failure. So it's a failed second entry. Now, this main measured move here is still in play. We still haven't reached it. Even though we got close, it's still in play. We haven't reached it yet. And this uptrend is holding... The EMA is holding on this entry. We have room to these highs here. You know, it's a good area to try to reach the measured move. Uptrend, break, first attempt higher, second attempt higher with room. It's a really good context area. Now this long right here, second entry long, there's just no room for good risk to reward. I don't like it. And then, but it does work though. We push higher. We don't get any good corrections. No more good trades really. It's just kind of choppy and then doesn't, get near the EMA so yeah that's gonna that's gonna do it for this video um yeah y'all have a going